My name is Virginia Marcel Kerslake and I am a resident and a property owner that's been impacted by Mariner East and Sunoco. So what, um, how, how is, uh, how is Mariner East going to uh, affect you and, and kind of your daily life potentially? Well, the, uh, the pipelines go across my property. Uh, there is an easement, we had no choice about that and um, during construction it's unbearable outdoors and even indoors we can hear the noise and feel the vibrations and uh, we're gonna have to put up with this for about three years we're about a year into it um, and we've been told 350 days of drilling on our property uh, but the worst part is once these pipelines are in if they're in uh, then we're faced with the uh, the risk of having those liquefied gases flowing across our properties. And, and uh, I mean, recently there's been a handful of uh, leaks and explosions in West Virginia. Yes. Um, how does that, because I'm sure that they're telling you it's safe, mm -hmm. uh, right? <laughs> yes, yes, Sunoco has been telling us it's safe um, and we have been speaking up and saying no. What we have found is that the residents and the grassroots coalitions that have sprung up, um, we have done the research. We actually know more about this than uh, some of the so-called experts and the people that are telling us that it's safe. In, um, in Chester County, where we are right now, uh, our Department of Emergency Services has uh, been calling for more information from Sunoco so that they can make um, emergency response plans for the event of a leak. And our local school board and two other local school boards have called on Governor Wolf to ask for a risk assessment because without that, our schools and the children in them cannot be um, protected in the event of a leak. Now, this this uh, this is not a pipeline that's running through um, uh, like a large field, like, no. like the XL pipeline. Tell me some of the places that this is yeah. actually running through and under. Sure. So, um, in Chester County and Delaware County, um, we have high density population. I live in West Whiteland Township, and there are over 11,000 people in the evacuation zone for Mariner East. Um, it's going right alongside shopping centers, uh, our Chester County Library. 40 schools are in the blast zone um, across the state, and several of those are right here. Um, it's going through sub uh, developments, um, nursing homes. Now, now why, why should people outside of this area um, be concerned about, about this pipeline? Why should people who live in, say, either you know Western Pennsylvania or upstate New York mm -hmm. or Massachusetts, why should they be concerned that like this sort of thing is going through small towns? Uh, well, in our case, we stand. Chester County and Delaware County stand in between the fracking fields and the port, and there's going to be more and more exporting of these gases and that means that uh, they're going to have to go through these these areas so in terms of pennsylvania in terms of chester county and delaware county we tell people right now if this is not going through your property or through your school the next one might so we all need to stand up and people in other states particularly new jersey delaware the other mid-atlantic states yeah. Uh, they could very well be facing this same threat. And it's, uh, it's an infringement not just on our safety, uh, but also our property rights and our constitutional rights. And, and what can people do uh, either locally or uh, nationally uh, to help, help you on this fight? Well, what we're asking for uh, right now from people is to support um, our state senators uh, formal complaint before the Public Utility Commission and we're also asking on them to contact Governor Wolf because Governor Wolf has largely ignored his duty to protect Pennsylvanians here and uh, he has he has the power actually to to shut down Mariner East to make this temporary halt that we have right now to make it permanent and to protect Pennsylvanians instead of protecting Sunoco's uh, financial gain.